Has the economy been really difficult this year, even with pausing interest rates and now they're planning to lower the interest rates by the end of this year. So a 2023 survey conducted a payroll highlights that about 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Now if you think about it, that's about a 6% increase compared to the previous year, which is sounds all good in the numbers, but like at the end, it's still cost of living is still going really high. Living paycheck to paycheck can be very stressful for an individual as it is very difficult to save or invest, even in this economy. It makes you very vulnerable in times of emergency or lost income, leading you to take out personal loans that you may not be able to cover in the future because who knows, you might lose your job in the future or in the worst case that you don't have any backup plans. Now, if you think about it, how much are Americans are living paycheck to paycheck that has saved. This article from Forbes highlights the respondents living paycheck to paycheck have about only about $1,000 in savings. Think about it, one grand. You going out to have a meal in, a, in America, you're averaging around $20. And 365 days in a year, you think about it, $1,000 is not gonna cut it. Now that is definitely not significant in an emergency as recommendation is to save about three to six months of your expenses as emergency savings, which is very difficult for a lot of people. Now, you gotta ask yourself, what is causing Americans to live paycheck to paycheck? So according to the article Forbes, it suggests that Americans experience this because of their spending rather than increasing income in 2022. Now, according to the Federalist Report on the Economic Well-Being of the U.S. Households, the highest percentage of Gen Z's respondents, which are the oldest which are new to the workforce, say that high monthly living expenses are among the primary reasons that they are living paycheck to paycheck, while about 57% of millennials cited that lack of budgeting and financial planning as the primary reason they are living paycheck to paycheck. The second most common reason for this is actually high monthly bills. Now, if you think about it, the reason why you have high monthly bills is because when you pay for goods and services, usually now they end up in subscriptions. When you have subscriptions, you include that food, like cost of living, anything you buy online, transportation, products and services, they all add up. I don't blame them either. So many Gen Z's are early into the workforce and don't have a high starting pay, which is the most case for people who are starting to work in the workforce. This also doesn't help as a whole, when the cost of living has risen as goods and services have become more and more expensive. Now if you think about it, the monthly inflation peaked around 9.1% June of last year. They try to bring it down while raising interest rates, and so far, inflation is still not doing so hot. Even, hopefully, the Federal Reserve is trying to lower it because they're not doing enough. First of all, how do we deal with high monthly living expenses and budgeting properly in this case? Well, I personally think that those two can work together to help you deal with financial challenges of living paycheck to paycheck. Now, the first thing is to deal with high living expenses. You have to lower that down. Now, take a few minutes to an hour to properly write down your necessary spending in this case. Start with, let's say, what your needs are, like essential bills, like utility bills, your phone bills, internet, and rent when you have debt. So the priority of this case is to repay that debt. Then work on the less important and urgent stuff, such as your wants. Entertainment and eating out is one thing you could scale back. If you find that your living expenses are very high, maybe if your rent is too high, try moving to a cheaper location. Or for example, you can try lowering your internet bill. Because let's say you don't watch TV. If you don't watch TV, then why have the package? Just have internet only. You can always try switching providers in this case. Now to lower your monthly bill, you have to make sacrifices so you can divert a lot of that income into your savings or retirement, especially in this case, investments. Now try increasing your income by doing like, let's say side hustles or providing service like freelancing or taking care of pets or basically walking your neighbor's dog. By doing this, you are cutting down areas that you can cut down on that will let you save more in the long run. This helps you increase your income drastically while lowering your expenses. Now overall, in general, the economy will recover. The question is, will inflation go down along with the recovering economy? So that's a question for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.